Hey, First City, this is a special midweek weekly update dedicated to some really good news. This Sunday, May 10th, we are resuming our Sunday worship gatherings. As most of you know, about a week and a half ago, Governor Ricketts released updated directed health measures that allow for in-person gatherings for churches. So while we recognize that our nation is still in some ways in a precarious spot and that churches aren't able to gather in all parts of our country or even our state, we are grateful that the door is open for us to gather again. So I wanna answer a few questions in this video. Why are we meeting? And then the when, the where, and the how of our meeting. So why are we meeting? Just because we can, does that mean we should? This is a very good, very fair question. So let me just start by saying this. It is good, it is right, and even necessary for the people of God to gather together and worship Him. We don't just gather together because we like to, though we certainly do like to. We gather because coming together as the local church to worship is essential to our identity as the people of God. We are uniquely challenged and encouraged and shaped when we come together as the people of God to worship. So the decision not to meet the past eight weeks was a difficult but certainly necessary decision. And I'm sure you, like me, have felt something missing, a longing, a desire to not only be with people, but to experience worshiping God with others. Well, we should want this. We should desire this. So with the door open to gathering, our first instinct really should be to say, yeah, let's make this happen, and then only decide not to gather if there are really, really good reasons. And so while it made sense not to gather the past eight weeks, the best, most current data we have regarding the situation in our state seems to indicate that it is reasonably safe to gather if we follow proper directed health measures. So in other words, while there always is and always will be a level of risk, we believe the risk is low enough to the majority of our church to move forward with resuming our Sunday gatherings. Now I recognize not everyone may agree with our decision. Some of you, some of you may not agree, and that is certainly fine. And there's certainly room for good faith disagreement. But at the end of the day, uh, Pastor Paul and I are in agreement that resuming our Sunday gatherings is the best thing for First City Church. So that is the why. Now look, this does not mean everyone should come, at least not right away. Uh, some of you, because of age or health-related conditions, you may be at a higher risk, or maybe you live with those at a higher risk. It makes complete sense for you to stay home. Others of you, maybe you have jobs in healthcare or other fields that put you at a high risk for exposure. So it may be wise for you to stay home as well. And then some of you, maybe you're fine with our decision to meet, but really just at this time, you're not quite comfortable yet. And so maybe it'll be a while before you're comfortable coming to the large gathering. That is fine as well. Look, there's no pressure to get you to come or there's no guilt for deciding to stay home. We look forward to being with everyone as soon as they're able to join. And for those of you who will be staying home, we will be live streaming our entire service. So you're still gonna be able to participate with us from the comfort of your own home. So overview of why we are choosing to gather. Now the when, the where, and the how. But praise God, we were able to find a space that allows us to gather on Sunday mornings. So our services will be at 10 a.m. as they usually have been. Uh, where were we gonna be gathering? Well, First City, let me introduce you to our new home for the time being the elementary commons area at Cornerstone Christian School. They have graciously and generously allowed us to use this space and to use it for free. And so they have been an incredible answer, answer to prayer because there was a few days there where it was looking uncertain if we were gonna really have a location to be able to gather again. So this space is gonna certainly feel different than our space at Bellevue West. It isn't an auditorium with a stage. It's a big open room with chairs set up and some of our attempts to give the space some ambiance. Uh, so it's gonna take some time to adjust and get used to. But I'm confident that once we settle in, we'll find it to be an enjoyable space for our Sunday gatherings. So what will Sunday gatherings look like, the, the, the order of service? Well, I want you to think First City Fifth Sundays. So the service will run about 65 to 75 minutes. No First City kids. So we'll be, all be worshiping together. We'll participate in our regular liturgical elements. We're gonna make a few modifications to ensure we're following the directed health measures. And so to maintain proper social distancing, we've arranged seating in clusters with six feet of distance between them. Uh, we've tried to take the guesswork out of it. So all you have to do is maintain one household per seating cluster. And included in this midweek update 
is going to be uh, some other guidelines and details that will prepare you for Sunday. So please read it over carefully as we want everyone to be clear on what to expect so they can have a safe and enjoyable and worshipful experience. So church, though we are resuming Sunday gatherings, in many ways, it's still going to feel different. It's not going to be the same. And in some ways that may be disappointing, but we need not let that discourage us. We can still experience rich times of worshiping and fellowshipping together, even if our new normal is less than ideal. Let us also be patient and gracious with one another. We're going to have differences of perspectives on this whole ordeal, and that is fine. Let us be careful not to judge the hearts and motives of those who may see things differently. Remember, the unity we have in Christ. We're brothers and sisters. Let's guard that unity. Let, let that unity dictate our interactions with one another. And as I said, the first Sunday we live stream, having our minds shaped by the Spirit, by the Gospel, means we will be reasonable, peaceable, sober-minded. Let that mindset dictate our Sunday mornings. We can be cautious and follow proper health measures without being fearful or creating a tense environment. And we can be warm and welcoming to one another without being careless. So if we continue with hearts ready to worship Christ and the desire to encourage and edify one another, I am confident our Sunday gatherings will be safe environment that is also warm and full of the hospitality First City is known for. So church, I'm excited to worship with you all. I'm excited to be with you. If you have any questions, please don't hesitate to reach out to myself or Pastor Paul or one of the staff team. I'm looking forward to seeing you on Sunday, whether in person or on our live stream, and God's blessing on you the rest of this week.